Samsung was hoping to make a splash with its new foldable smartphone, but today the company announced it's delaying launch events in China after some early reviewers reported problems. KXN's John Dabkovich spoke to a local tech analyst who is only one of 50 people in the world who have this new phone. They explore the issues and Samsung's next step. I guess some people are, are confused because they get this phone and they flip it open and they see the big display, but the screen is kind of, it's kind of soft. It doesn't feel like screens that we're normally used to. What is the confusion that that's causing? Yeah, so part of the confusion uh, is that uh, when some people get a phone, they have a protective coating that they automatically uh, pull off, and two or three of the reviewers actually pulled off the permanent protective coating that's on there, and a few minutes later, uh, the display uh, broke. I think it's important for everybody to, to understand, too, this is the first time we've had a folding phone, a, a phone that folds. Okay. And, um, you know, it's, it's like the tech version of landing somebody on the moon. Well, let me ask you, uh, how important is it for Samsung or any company to make a good first impression when they're launching a product like this? Reviews are vitally important to spread the good word or maybe the bad word on, on how a product does. Uh, but to me, the defining moment is going to be when this gets into consumers' hands and consumers are like, yeah, this is great, I don't have issue, or right? Gosh, I'm having the same issues. Yeah. Uh, then, it, then it becomes a problem for them. So where do they go from here? How do they move forward and, and try to fix a problem, yeah. if there is a problem? Uh, my hunch is that they won't launch this to consumers until they get to the root cause and are confident that there won't be uh, major issues.